Welcome to our first ever MS Readathon reading session. Uh, please don't forget to, to support the fundraiser, which will be linked inside the description below. I will now be reading you The Trouble with Dragons, which was made by Conrad Robson and Ben Cavery. Very good story. It is made for children learning how to manage their dragon. It began one Tuesday morning that Ollie woke to her unusual sight. A dragon on his bed. His name, he said, was Red. Now the trouble with dragons is that they don't really like getting up, which can be a problem if there's what sitting on top of you when you had to go to school. <laughs> on this particular morning, this was an odd and rather troublesome situation in which Ollie had found himself. Ollie later found that it wasn't like getting up. It wasn't just getting up that giant instead of like, Red didn't like showers either, nor brushing his teeth, and he wasn't the best at getting dressed. Oh dear. One thing Red did like about mornings, though, was toast. So when Ollie went downstairs for breakfast, Red thought it would be a good idea to meet some. Of all the good ideas had by dragons, this was not one of them. All of us had made Ollie late for school. Maybe if I had a sports car, that I could r then I could ride to school in that, he thought. Or a big balloon. Or a boat. The trouble was, of course, that Ollie couldn't drive, nor fly a balloon, and he couldn't find the oars. So instead, he had to walk. Which meant Red was able to follow him. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. At school, Ollie was finding it hard to concentrate because Red was distracting him. The trouble was Red didn't find books really dis dis exciting. He preferred juggling them to reading them. But this made Ollie's teacher very cross. Ollie was having trouble playing with friends too. Red always was showing up to spoil their games. And when Ollie's class was painting, Red thought it would be fun to join in. But he got so excited, he ended up spilling the paint everywhere. Ollie got in so much trouble that his teacher called his dad to take him home. Ollie was really upset about getting in so much trouble, and it was all Red's fault. But what Ollie didn't know is that Red didn't mean to do to cause him trouble. He just found it hard to do the things other children do because he was a dragon. All of a sudden, Ollie's friend saw his friend Ava at her window. What's wrong, Oliver? she asked. Ollie told her all about the trouble he, he should have, have had in his dragon. Red. But in fact, Eva had a bit of a surprise for him. Blue. That night, Ollie and Eva stayed up past bedtime to talk about their dragons. Eva explained how dragons can be good friends if you train them, so Ollie decided that's what he'd do. He was glad he told Eva about his dragon and thanked her very much before falling asleep. The next day, Ollie and Red got up 
up very early with lots of help Fred learned how to behave at breakfast and why it's good to pay attention in class and how playing games should be fun for everyone. Until finally, even though Red didn't always get it right, Ollie thought, maybe dragons don't have to be so troublesome after all. That was our story. Please don't forget to please support the fundraiser and try to keep on donating. Thank you and goodbye.